Atria Assisted Living is reporting yet another resident death tonight, this time at its Walnut Creek facility. Atria sent a rather vague statement to Cron 4 News last night saying that the resident died because of something he ingested but didn't explain exactly what was consumed. Cron 4's Rob Nesbitt talked to that resident's son today, and Rob, uh, he has an opinion on exactly what his father did eat, doesn't he? He does, Ken. He's not very happy about this. Dr. Kerry Canoon says his 94-year-old father suffered from dementia. He thought the memory care facility at Atria Walnut Creek would be a good place when he moved his father there a year ago. He's now questioning that choice. It was around midnight on August 24th when Dr. Kerry Canoon was woken up by a phone call from this Atria Walnut Creek assisted living facility. Staff alerting him that his dad, Constantine Canoon, had to be taken to the hospital. I was obviously surprised. I said, why is that? He said because he drank some cleaning fluid. Dr. Canoon rushed to John Muir Medical Center where he says his 94-year-old father was in distress with burns inside his mouth. Early that same morning, Dr. Canoon went to Atria to see what the cleaning fluid was. Identified the liquid and said, it was a, uh, an alkaline agent, which um, unfortunately uh, causes pretty severe, um, it can cause pretty severe injury. The incident happening just three days before Gertrude Maxwell's death. The 93-year-old was served dishwashing liquid at the Atria Park Senior Living Facility in San Mateo. Canoon passed away on Wednesday. His son frustrated with how the story from Atria has changed over time. They essentially told me that uh, he didn't drink any this substance. That the problem was is, is that he ate uh, flaming hot Cheetos. These kind of injuries that my dad suffered, in no way, shape, or form, can be caused by flaming hot Cheetos. Dr. Canoon says his dad suffered from dementia and was in the dining hall of Atria when the cleaning liquid was consumed. It's so important to have those, uh, you know, uh, dangerous chemicals put away. Atria's statement about the death saying, quote, it is uncertain what caused this reaction at this time. We believe it was likely food related. Dr. Canoon wants to see more transparency from the assisted living facility that he entrusted with his father's care. Really frustrating when I thought I was moving in my dad into a place because he would be safer than being at home, uh, you know, and he wasn't. According to Atria, the staff involved have been suspended while an internal investigation is being done. Dr. Canoon says an autopsy is scheduled for Monday and he expects more serious action to be taken once an official cause of death is released. Ken and Pam. Real quick, we know what happened. In the allegation in San Mateo at the Atria facility was that uh, the victim was served, uh, I believe it was dishwashing uh, cleaner uh, that they thought was juice or that somebody thought was juice. Do we know in the, this situation, was, was the victim served something, or do we know how the victim got his hands on this product that he consumed? Ken, Dr. Canoon told me that his dad was in the dining hall of the Atria facility. He said that his dad was eating lunch. He was um, doing that on his own, that he doesn't need help or assistance with eating or drinking, and that he consumed, or he alleges that his dad consumed this cleaning fluid on his own. That's a difference from the other case right. where the family of that woman says that she actually needs assistance. In this case, he did it on his own, but he's still upset and says there should have been some staff there to prevent that. Yeah, the question is how, what, why was that at a eating area for elderly patients, especially those with dementia? All right, Rob Nesbitt, obviously a lot to follow up on this story. I'm sure you'll be in touch with that. Thank you, Rob.